Welcome back to week two guys of bent arm strength to improve the straight arm handstand press. Um, back with another week. Uh, this one was a night session. I usually do my sessions in the mornings, but I ended up just waking up late, uh, getting to do errands, and then I played tennis, I uh, ate dinner, and I still want to get the workout session in, so I did it late at night to compensate. Obviously, it's morning as you can see from the window out here, but um, you'll see that it's, it's a night session. <laughs> Anyways, it was super late at night at that session, so I decided to bring out the eye mask just to sleep in between my sets and stuff. I'm just kidding, but uh, you will see me we wearing this during the session, and I have a reason for it. It's because this will cover my eyes so I don't uh, won't be able to use my vision when I'm upside down in the handstand. Uh, I think this will just help develop my spatial awareness because when we're you know standing and moving around, our vision does uh, play a huge part in where objects are, feeling our position in space. So if I block that, uh, my other senses will have to improve, such as my balance and just overall coordination. So when I take it off, uh, my vision will just be a lot better in terms of, well, it, it won't be better, but it will help me in terms of uh, where I am in my space. So uh, it's a pretty, I think it's a, it's kind of uh, more on the intermediate advanced techniques. So if you're just starting to handstand and stuff, I don't recommend you trying this. However, um, I've been practicing handstands for a little bit now. So I also gathered an open space to where I have enough margin for error, even if I do lose my balance or anything. So it was interesting. Uh, you'll see in the clips that I do manage to hold a couple, um, couple holds uh, out of my reps during uh, certain exercises. So I think it is, it is a challenge, however, uh, it made it fun and entertaining, so. Let's get into it. So the blindfold is coming on, and just remember that the first and second clips are my first and third set. So I think in this first set here, uh, from frog stand to handstand, I don't get a really good hold here. Um, you can see that I have my hips higher than uh, last week's, which is an improving point. Uh, it gets it much easier for me to get into a handstand. However, I'm still shooting a little bit behind where I want my hips to be. And that's what is preventing me from staying in a straight line when going up. The eye mask is supposed to help me develop that spatial awareness without um, the use of my vision. And I think in the second clip, I might have a better one here. We'll see. But again, really trying to just push the hips up. Uh, I, that was closer that time. As you can see, my hips were a little bit more above my head and in line with my hands. Um, really trying to lean forward, get the pressure on my shoulders, and then push up straight up just so I have everything aligned. And overall, it felt, it felt a little better than last week's. Last week was the tutorial run. This week, I was a little bit more uh, confident in my abilities, but still have a lot to learn. Um, still flailing around a little bit, still not keeping it tight everywhere uh, as a nice handstand should be, but... Uh, also arching my back as you can see there so we'll be able to uh, hopefully improve upon that in the upcoming weeks and I think uh, after this one I kind of run into a wall because I just didn't know where I was so definitely have an open space when you're trying this out this next exercise handstand negative to bent arm tuck planche it's it's still a little complicated to me. Uh, I'm still developing the right motion for this, and I still go way down too fast, as you'll uh, be able to see in the upcoming clips. Um, and I think I eventually get frustrated from not being able to go into a complete handstand because I'm wasting too much energy and trying and then trying to go down from that. So I revert to a tuck handstand later in the clip. So. But as you can see here, I'm still kind of confused on how to be leaning forward and when to bring down my hips and legs all together in one motion just so I can still be floating up a little. You'll see me here uh, trialing some bent arm planches or bent arm tuck planches on the bottom here just so I know that I am capable of doing it. And I am capable of holding that so the strength is not lost there. However, I think the coordination uh, needs a lot of work still. As you can see again, I'm still falling down way too fast. 
I think my problem here is that first I got to get steady in the tuck handstand and then I got to lean forward a little bit more with my shoulders. I think I'm not uh, leaning forward enough to where I can balance out. That one was kind of good, but still way too fast. So I still need the control for this. I think uh, once I solidify my balance and all, uh, I'll stop wasting energy trying to get into it and actually be able to go down a little slower. Uh, but this one, this one's still tricky. Now this wall assisted tuck handstand is probably my favorite with the eye mask on. Uh, it really just allows me to get a sense of where I'm at in terms of me being upside down, where my hips are, where my shoulders are, and uh, not being able to rely on my eyes for that. So this one feels really good to open up the shoulders, to just be aware of my spatial awareness. Uh, and I think when I take this off um, in later sessions, the tuck handstand will be a lot easier. However, I still need to increase my hold time. Still falling back a little too early, earlier than I would hope for at least. Um, I just still have to find a way to recover when my knees uh, get a little behind me uh, towards, towards the back of me when I fall down to the back. So that will only come with more and more practice. This next exercise from tuck headstand push up to handstand felt really good as well compared to last week. Um, I know the first one wasn't that good, but I managed to get a couple of a uh, little bit of hold times, though they were a little bit arched in the back. Um, however, I did feel I had more, a little more control this time. I think what I focused uh, more on was uh, definitely my hips in and where they are in my space. Um, you'll see with my the holds I do get, you'll see that my hips are directly in line with my shoulders, my wrists, and my leg, or my feet going up top. So it's a nice straight line uh, with a little bit of arch from the back, but uh, if I'm not being too critical with form, then I'm kind of okay with the whole times. However, with the calisthenic uh, vision that I, I'm looking for, uh, they wouldn't pass in my book. So even though I do get the whole times, it's, it's still not pretty looking. It's still not um, still not that picture perfect form that I'm looking for, so I won't count it, but I do get those times in. Um, I feel it was a little bit easier to push up. Uh, I was a little bit uh, tired in this session, um, but I still managed to put um, the good effort that I hoped for in, so. That one wasn't too bad. You'll see my pseudo planche push-ups, also just leaning forward push-ups that I have socks on because um, it allows me just to slide back and forth and makes it a little bit easier to go down without having to jump a down position. So I just implemented that and try to lean as far as possible. I also have been doing these Jefferson curls and what I have on the bar right now are just 10 plates on each side and I think the bar weighs five pounds. So 25 pounds on the bar. Uh, nothing too heavy, please don't go too heavy if you are going to do this exercise. You don't really need that much, you just need some resistance against gravity, or with gravity at least because it's going down. So, But what I'm trying to do here is just compress as much as possible because the ultimate goal of these bent arm sessions is to get a straight handstand press and uh, it just looks a lot cleaner if your knees aren't bent when in a forward fold position. And so that's what this exercise is, I'm trying to reach down touch the ground, but obviously I will not be able to as far as I can. I really want to close that angle between my stomach and thighs, upper thighs, as you can see there. It looks okay right now. It's decent. However, I think I can go a little bit further. You really want to focus on bending each vertebrae at a time, not going way too fast. 
uh, slow and controlled, maybe a little slower than what I was doing actually, to be honest, now that I'm looking at it. And really just focus on compressing, uh, reaching straight down. Don't let the bar just do the uh, motion, really go with it. Try and reach down there too as you are going into the forward fold, just so you can stretch out the hamstrings. Good exercise to the knees, um, and it gives the lower back a little bit of strength as well. And I'm just holding down there for a good 10 seconds as I can count, then going back up. And I think I did, I think, four or five reps each set. Really trying to get the volume in there, so we'll see how this progresses. Uh, within the upcoming weeks. And we'll see if the gap closes between my stomach and thighs. So I think that wraps just about up the session here. Uh, I'll follow up next week with week three, same exercises, same deal, hopefully better form and uh, getting that Cali aesthetic uh, picture perfect form that I'm looking for. So really striving for that. All right guys, I will see you next week.